for AutoCAD 3D start from a new file new okay here I will select AutoCAD okay when uh, we open the new file in AutoCAD it automatically comes with the workspace drafting and annotation that is the basic uh, drawing phenomena in AutoCAD to draw the uh, 3D modeling we have to select 3D modeling then the tabs of 3D uh, will appear here box cylinder cone we directly draw the 3D objects okay uh, in this drawing I will show from the basics as a beginner level okay first of all uh, here unsaved view you can uh, set any view like south east view top view bottom view so in this drawing i will select south east south east you can select as per your requirement okay that is a 3d view now i will select uh, a simple rectangle command or you can use uh, any line command for drawing the rectangle why i am drawing the rectangle in this drawing i will show you how to draw this 3d object whose uh, length is 118 and whose height is 40 and whose width is 44 and this put uh, little projection uh, height that is 16 okay first of all i will draw the bottom portion then i will draw the top portions so for drawing the bottom portion 118 44 and 16 okay I will uh, select rectangle okay select any point okay I have selected an, uh, any point now I will press dimension okay in the dimension I will enter the length and width I will enter the length that is 114 uh, sorry 118 and width is 44 118 that is the length and width is 44 I will press enter okay uh, on which side I want to draw the drawing okay I have selected this side now press Z for zoom for uh, press A for zoom all okay now that's the rectangle now I will uh, project upward to make the height of 16 you have to just use the command press pull okay a press pull select the object okay then press the height uh, which you want so the height in the drawing that is 16 okay so I will enter 16 okay so to view in the 3d uh, 3d form so here the uh, by default 2d wide frame is open so I will select shades of gray now you can see 3d object is looking okay now for the curve for this portion okay the width is 44 so the uh, dia of this circle which is curving outside that is 44 and the radius that will be 22 okay so first of all I will make a line reference line at this point to draw the circle okay here I will here is the options extrude faces taper faces I want to copy face okay I want to copy this face okay and select enter then select from where you want to copy and locate okay so I uh, snap why because uh, it comes in the linear position so now I will enter 22 okay exit now I will draw the circle that is circle whose dia is 44 okay here I have selected the center point I will select at the edge so here is the uh, circle 44 so now at the edges I do not need this part so I will just select press and pull select this outside part and go down okay you can see now the outside part is deleted, deleted. so again I will select this part and go down okay you can see this part is also deleted deleted so now I will draw the inner circle okay here inner circle dimension is 
uh, that is 16 so this circle die is uh, 16 and this circle die is 16 and radius will be 8 okay and now I will draw the circle at this point whose radius is 8 okay so I want also uh, I will copy this circle okay copy and move this circle from this position to 24 length okay because the distance between two circles is 44 uh, 24 so that's why I have entered 24 okay so now uh, I will delete the circle if uh, you face any difficulty in selection you can go back again the 2d wireframe then you will e easily select that circle here I will delete so now I will draw a simple uh, rectangle okay from this point to this point okay why I have selected the rectangle uh, here in the 3d concept okay I will again select press and pull uh, select that object and go down similarly select that subject go down this one you can go up you can go down for delete and up for uh, uh, upward projection here so now I do not need these inner circles so I will go select 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 delete okay again go back in the shade width view okay now you can see uh, I have drawn the inner uh, elliptical part okay I will select this uh, face which I have copied and uh, we also do not need this bottom reference point so I have deleted all these so now I will draw the upper part okay the upper part whose dimension is uh, from this point to upward so width is 48 and thickness is 12 and the height from this point to this point so if we 40 subtract this 16 then the distance from this point to this point will be uh, 24 and this is the curve so the uh, uh, radius uh, the dia is also 48 so radius will be 24 so 24 24 uh, uh, this from this point to this point 24 from this point to this point 24 48 so that is the 48 by 48 panel with thickness 12 and here the again with small uh, circle of 20 okay now I will show this okay I now I will select uh, uh, the coordinate system in which I want to work so if I want to work in this phase in the left phase so you can select any phase okay here if you want to work the top phase bottom left right uh, back so this is my front face so I will select this front now if I draw any dimension that will work in the front face so here I will draw again rectangle select any point okay I have selected any point now you can see I am drawing the uh, dimensions in the front face due to the coordinate system in the previous version of AutoCAD this option of coordinate system is present in the view tab okay in the advanced AutoCAD version that is present in the main home button okay so now I will enter the dimensions width is 48 and height is also 48 okay now I will uh, press and pull okay press and pull how much 12 and now I will draw the circle okay for the drawing of circle I need the center I will just snap that center okay now I will draw this circle okay delete I will delete the upper parts by using press and pull okay now I will draw the inner circle whose diameter is 20 okay first of all I will snap the center now I will enter the radius radius will be 10 now I will delete the inner circle okay 
uh, select press and pull and remember for press and pull you have to select the inner surface not the edges okay i will select this surface and go inward okay i have deleted so now i will delete this portion also and this circle outline okay here i am facing the issue in selection so i will go in the 2d frame i will select just select delete again go to shaded view now i have to copy this object from this position copy and i will select uh, the reference point from this point and i want to copy here okay now i want to copy or move this object to the other side so i will just rotate the face uh, okay you can rotate any direction okay you can also use the uh, uh, orbit command you can use the wheel okay here i will select this object and move okay i will select this corner and snap at this point okay now i will uh, for the viewing again symmetric okay so here you can see i have drawn the 3d view as i have discussed in the in the drawing okay so that's all for the 3d drawing introduction in autocad have a nice day